Marcos Viegas here with Hamron Hank Lundy, who takes on Mauricio Herrera coming up at the LA Sports Arena on July 11th. A fight in which there's a lot of similarities between you guys. You guys have been in a lot of fights, right. uh, fights in which fans felt that you should have won, right. uh, right. a lot of close decisions. So for you, when you look at him, do you see like, man, like you kind of feel me, like because I've been through where you're at. Right. So I, right. I kind of know like the stakes for this fight. Right. Well. You know, when I look at him, you know, like I said, you know, in interviews, you know, on Twitter and everything else, you know, this is a guy just like Hammer and Hank Lundy, ain't scared of nobody, will fight you in your kitchen or your bathroom, you know, anywhere in your house, we'll fight you, you know. But once again, like I tell everybody, that respect goes out the door. You know, it adds up to the day, no more respect, it's war time. You've been training in Vegas for uh, quite some time. I saw your Instagram. I saw your tweets, yeah. you know, working with Sean Porter. Yeah. How's that experience been like for you? Oh, man, it's a, it's a great experience, and especially, you know, working with a world-class fighter, you know, and it lets you know where you belong, you know. Everything happened for a reason, and it has a meaning, you know. And this fight, you know, with Mauricio, you know, with the help of Sean, is going to show you that Hammer and Hank is one of them top guys that should be on TV 24-7. Now, what was the decision to go from Philadelphia and finish off training camp in Vegas? Well, you know, um, Mr. Kenny Porter, you know, I knew him ever since the amateur, a good friend, you know. Um, we both connected, you know, I told him, you know, I'd be a big help, you know, getting, you know, Porter ready for, um, you know, Broner. I've been in camp with Broner, so I know him, you know. So, you know, good friend, you know, reached out to another friend, and we've been working. And then you think about it, you know, Sean Porter has somewhat of a style, have as um, just like Mauricio, come forward, throw punches, and you know, it's a good fit, you know? Looking at uh, Mauricio, he's had a, a lot of uh, close decisions. Right. Did you see the Benavides fight? And if you did, do you right. feel he should have gotten that one? Um, well, you know, um, I looked at the fight. For anything, it could have been a draw, but I had it the other guy going the other guy away because, you know, if you listen to certain things, you know, what the commentators were saying, you know, he was doing, and I see a lot of weaknesses in, in Mauricio Herrera. Tell me about those. What, what do you see that you feel you can exploit the night of the fight? Oh, listen, man, I ain't going to let the cat out the bag, but just no <laughs> fight night. Y'all going to see what I'm talking about, and then y'all going to go back and look at when that fight happened and see everything that I just said or display is going to come to true. Now, right here uh, at the press conference and really talking with Mauricio uh, as well before, he doesn't feel you're going to uh, box. He said, you know, you've never boxed in your career. Like, the fights he's seen you, you just brawl. And he's like, as soon as you get hit, you're going to go back into that mode and go ahead and brawl him. So what do you make when he says that? Man, man, you just don't know Hammer and Hank Lundy, you know. And in certain fights, I had to bring the dog out and bring the warrior out, you know. But don't get it twisted for a second. Hammer and Hank, fast hands, good feet movement, I could box. And, you know, at the end of the day, he don't want me to go in there and box because if he know if I box, he has no chance against me. So he wants to make it into an all-out war. But, you know, it's going to be war. Just know that. You are going to get married, right? Yes, sir. Uh, like a few days before the fight? Is yes, that sir. correct? Yes, sir. You know, um, you know, the fight was due to six for the six, and then they pushed it back to, you know, um, July the 11th. So... At the end of the day, you know, I went and it's set for um, July the 5th. You know, this is a typical Hammer and Hank Lundy. You know, everything never has to go my way. It always has to be the hard way. <laughs> Even with your marriage, the one day that it's planned. Right. <laughs> right, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's my day as well, but it's wifey's day too, you know, and I'm just happy, you know that somebody came into my life, you know, and understand what I do and push me even, you know, more to go to the top. So this is her day, you know, I'm going to just sit back, just smile, you know. At the end of the day, I could just sit and remember more, you know. She probably <laughs> won't remember, but I'll remember, you know. But, you know, I'm going to take that in, you know, as a, you know, nothing never, never, nothing never goes my way. So just take it, keep on moving, and get ready to fight, you know? Because weddings are usually extremely <laughs> stressful. Like, it right. takes a lot of time. Right. So it's like all those responsibilities shift to her, or are you still having to not only deal with training camp still, but right. deal with planning a wedding? Well, listen, I ain't got to do nothing. You know, the men, all we got to do is kick out the money. <laughs> you know, I did my job. I kicked out the money. She planned everything, you know. I don't have to do nothing else. There's no pressure on me. I'm all focused and ready to fight. The real pressure is the marriage part. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's the real pressure. <laughs> Don't let me get caught making that face. But, yeah, the marriage part. But, you know, it's all good, man. I'm ready, you know, to open up that chapter in my life and be happy, man.
Thank you very much. I appreciate certainly it. appreciate it. Hank Lundy, of course, takes on Maurice O'Hara coming up on HBO Latino.